Health Science presentation is appropriate for children of all ages. Look at this embryo. He's only four weeks old and his heart has already been beating for about a week. Do you see the big red heart in the middle of his body? It is pumping blood to all the other parts of the growing baby. You can't tell by looking if these babies are boys or girls until they are about 12 weeks old. So sometimes we will call them she and sometimes we will call them he. As we learned earlier, the baby is called an embryo until it is nine weeks old. When the baby is five weeks old, she starts to form tiny grooves and ridges on her hand. This means she is beginning to grow fingers. Nerves also start to grow into the hands and legs during this time. Nerves are what help us move and feel things. You're probably wondering what this round balloon-like shape could be. It's called the yolk sac and it grows in the first few weeks of the baby's life. The yolk sac does many things to help the baby grow, but one of the most important is to make blood cells for the heart to pump throughout the baby's body. During the fifth to sixth week of life, the baby is beginning to develop its face. This baby has a mouth and a tiny upper lip. Look at this baby's mouth. The arrow shows you where to look. This baby also has an early nose, eyes and ears. Six weeks is an exciting time because this is when the embryo begins to move. He first makes slow, gentle movements of his arms. Within just a few weeks, the baby can move his arms, legs, head and trunk rapidly. His mother will not feel him move until he is about four months old because he is so small. By then, he will be big enough to kick his leg or push his arm hard enough to be felt by the nerves, which are closer to his mother's skin. Another wonderful thing that happens at six weeks is a baby's brain becomes active. Doctors can measure the brain's electrical activity with a machine that prints out a tracing whose initials are EEG. The EEG is a drawing of the brain's electrical pattern that looks like a crooked line with sharp ups and downs. Everyone has their own special EEG pattern and they begin to form while they're still just embryos inside their mother's wombs. At six weeks, the baby also begins to form the joints which connect its bones. Our joints are the places where two bones meet and special connective tissue at our joints allows our bodies to bend. Our knees and elbows are two examples of joints. The baby's joints develop so quickly that they look like adult joints by the end of the eighth week. It is very important that the baby moves around inside his mother because exercise helps grow his bones and joints and even his muscles. 